it is my great pleasure to welcome you in this today our summit 23 with a topic broadening green energy markets. I'm delighted to get the chance to share a few words among all of you. For this, I would like to thank the organizer IPAN, a true partner in development of power projects in Nepal. Without their investment and support, Nepal could not have become a power surplus country. Uh, we are here to create a common narrative and together government and private sector can ensure the timely, efficient and quality production of energy that is required for people and industries and sustainable development. We all are clearly and loudly talking about climate change and its impacts on development, human and animals. A person who contribute a little to create the problem are going to pay a heavier price. In Nepal, we will do all we can to adapt in to these changes. In the meantime, we shall help reduce our carbon footprint by promoting the use of green energy in all sectors of our economic development. Nepal is ready to work with our neighbors to extend the markets for our surplus green energy so that all can benefit from this resource. I am confident that this power summit will create the needed space to build on past efforts and pave a visible pathway to ensure the results in terms of production, distribution and expansion. For Nepal, the development of its immense hydropower potential is of utmost priority. The economic linkages of the investments we have made in the energy sector has impacts on the entire ecosystem including gas generation, job creation, education and local development. The benefits of developing the, developing the market for Nepal's green energy must reach the people of Nepal in equitable fashion. Our commitment is there to practice Nepal as a truly green energy powered country. At present, our total installed capacity is 2650 megawatt, out of which 1146 megawatt is from NEA and subsidies, and 1514 megawatt is from IPPS. The peak demand in first quarter of year 2023 20, is 1840 megawatt. We have more than 96% of population accesses to electricity and we are planning to make 100% in the coming two years, both by extending grids and building of grids generations. NEA has started to export its surplus energy of the world season in the day ahead market of India. The total export to India soared to 493 uh, gigawatt as in Fiscal year 2021 to 2022 through the Dalgabar Mujafur 400 kV transmission line. To take care of the more generation incoming to Nepal's grid in an accelerated pace, Nepal and India have already started construction of new Gutol for a second 400 kV cross border transmission line. In top of that, Nepal and India in their power secretary's level meeting. A uh, power secretary level meeting recently held in Mount Abu of India decided to implement the two additional 400 kb interconnection links between the two countries. I am confident that the conclusion drawn from the vigorous <coughs> brainstorming, dialogues, and discussion among the experts having long time experience in this sector, <coughs> national and international investors, project developers, energy traders, representatives from bank and the financial institutions will certainly deliver direction and guidance for our forthcoming footsteps. Finally, as Nepal has tremendous potential for investment in the power sector, let me invite the pro prospective developers from the world community to come and invest in Nepal in any modality mutually agreed based on our investment-friendly FDI laws. 
I wish our foreign delegates who have come to participate in the summit that their stay in Nepal be merry and fruitful. Last but not the least, I wish this two-day summit a grand success. Thank you. Thank you so much.